find the twelfth term of each geometric sequence. Because both sequences are geometric, we know we have a common ratio r, where the common ratio r is equal to a sub n divided by a sub n minus one, which means we can determine the common ratio r by taking any term in the sequence except the first term and dividing by the previous term. For the first sequence, a sub one, the first term equals four. And let's determine the common ratio r using the first two terms. The common ratio r must be equal to a sub two divided by a sub one, which is negative eight divided by four, which equals negative two. And now we can write the formula for a sub n for a geometric sequence, a sub n equals a sub one times r to the power of n minus one. In our case we have a sub n equals a sub one which is four times r which is negative two raised to the power of n minus one. And now I can determine the twelfth term using this formula. When determining a sub twelve, notice n equals twelve. A sub twelve equals four times negative two raised to the power of twelve minus one, which is four times negative two raised to the eleventh power. And now we'll grow the calculator to determine a sub twelve. I'm using the Desmos scientific calculator. We enter four, open parenthesis, negative two, close parenthesis, raised to the power of eleven, enter. The twelfth term is negative eight thousand one hundred ninety two. Now looking at the second sequence, we have the first term a sub one equals fifty. The common ratio r is equal to, let's use a sub two divided by a sub one, which is twenty five divided by fifty, which equals one half. This indicates a sub n equals a sub one, which is fifty, times r, which is one half, raised to the power of n minus one, and now we can use this formula to determine the twelfth term. A sub twelve is equal to fifty times one half to the power of twelve minus one, which is fifty, times one half to the power of eleven. And again, now we go back to the calculator. And we enter fifty, open parenthesis, one divided by two, right arrow, close parenthesis, raised to the power of eleven. Enter. We don't want to give a decimal approximation. We want the exact value of the twelfth term, and therefore we click on the convert to fraction button on the far right, and give the twelfth term as twenty-five divided by one thousand twenty-four. I hope you found this helpful.